This is a geek leader. Hey guys, John Rada back with episode 112 of a Geek Leader podcast, and today's going to be a bonus episode. This is a solo show. I'm going to talk a little bit about expectations and frustrations. And many of us today are frustrated or disappointed maybe with our careers or where things are going or feel like we could have done more, we could have achieved more, we could have moved further along than we have already. And I kind of wanted to set things back a little bit and think about why those disappointments come up and why we get frustrated with, with where we're at. And a lot of times, a lot of these frustrations and disappointments, in my opinion, I think they come down to a disconnect between where we are expected to be and where we actually are. And, And the biggest culprit in that is really just our expectations. We're not setting realistic expectations. So in this episode, I want to talk a little bit about setting that realistic expectations and then aligning your um, expectations in a way that will reduce the disappointment you know without being negative without having a negative outcome without always thinking about the the downsides but also keeping positive and understanding where we're at and thinking about things from a different perspective so one of the things that helps me keep that you know cup is half full mindset and keep that mentality of of things going well and being excited about where we're at is gratitude and a while back, we had A.J. Jacobs on the podcast. It was one of my favorite episodes because um, he's one of my favorite authors. He's written a lot of really funny books. But he wrote a book called Thanks a Thousand where he talked about gratitude. And one of the things that I think is very important in preventing disappointment is always remembering the things that you're grateful for. And one of the things that I try to do is to think about on a daily basis what are several things that I'm grateful for. Uh, and with my job, you know, if I ever do get frustrated, I, I think about how – grateful I am to have the opportunity to lead this team, how grateful I am to be in a position where, you know, family comes first over, over the job, how grateful I am to, you know, to, to get the income that I get from my daily, you know, job and be able to enjoy it. You know, a lot of people have jobs that they hate that suck. And, you know, I have a job where I get to see improvement. I get to solve problems. I get to make a difference in people's lives. And that's one of those things that, you know, I'm grateful for. And I think, you all have those kind of aspects of your job. Yeah, you may do something that's not cool, but if you look at the end product of what you support, you have probably a greater purpose and, and something that's that's more exciting that you can be grateful for. So let's talk a little bit about how to set proper expectations. Well, the first thing you need to do is to stop comparing yourself to everybody around you. You know, because one of the things that we often do is compare. You know, our behind the scenes with other people's highlight reels. And that's a quote that I stole from uh, from Stephen Furtick in his book, Greater. But I think it's absolutely true. We do. We, we steal those things. Or, or I'm sorry. We um, compare ourselves to other people when they're at their highest point and we're at our low points. We look through Instagram or Facebook and we see the pictures and the videos that people shoot and we think, God, I wish my life was like that. But really, we don't know all that went on before that picture was taken. We don't know how difficult it was to frame that shot, how much work went into that. And we just assumed that it was easy for that person when in reality it probably wasn't. It was probably a more difficult challenge to get there. We also have to think about the things that, you know, how much greater we have moved on in our career and how much better we are off than, uh, than, than some people around us. So that's not a comparison thing. I'm not talking about, you know, we need to look at um, where we are compared to other people, but we need to look at where we are compared to the state of the world around us. Most of my listeners are in America, so I'm going to talk a little bit about you know how how lucky we are to be born on this piece of dirt where we live today. You know how lucky are we to be living in a country where we may say, "Oh, it's terrible." You know, uh, tension is so bad; it's never been this bad. Uh, yeah, it has been. Healthcare is the best it's ever been. People are living longer than they've ever lived, um, and population boom is you know kind of evident of that. We also pe- people will also complain about you know how divisive our country is. It's been worse, you know. Yeah, it's not great, but it's been worse, and it's better than it has been in the past. I mean, just look where we are today uh, with racial relations compared to where we were back in the 50s or 60s. And same thing with, with gender relations. People talk about how there's a gender inequality. It's still way better than it was, you know. And yes, we're not where we should be, but we're getting better. We're getting better. We're getting better. And we need to always focus on the fact that we're getting better. You know, some people talk about, oh, they think about the good old days. There were no good old days. It sucked back then. You look at, I, mean, I look at about my kids, where, where they are and the things that they have and the opportunities that they have. They're in the best time it's ever been to be alive. So when we think about that, we can change our expectations a little bit and say, wow, we are really lucky to be here. And if you guys are in technology, which you probably are, if you're listening to this podcast, 
you're lucky to be in a career where the sky's the limit, quite frankly. If you look at the top jobs in technology, they didn't exist a, lo- a while back. So you don't have to have you know 30 years of experience in technology to be you know a CIO or leading a team or CTO. No, you can be a you know 20 something or 30 something guy with just a little bit of experience that is a hard worker and goes after it. And you can find all the information that you need to do your job on YouTube if you really want to. If you want to sit through some of the boring videos that are out there and look at the good stuff, you can get all your information out there for free. And you can get all your education for free and start building stuff. And you don't have that barrier of entry that some jobs have. You know, With technology, all you really need is a computer, right? And you can open up Notepad. You can start writing code. You can start building sites. You can start doing things. And you can advance your career in that way. So we're really lucky to have that stuff. Now, whenever you do hit disappointment, whenever things do creep into your mind and you think about how bad it is, use gratitude to get yourself out of that. All right. So think about the things that are great, the things that have happened that you're thankful for, and just talk about it. You know, say it out loud. A lot of times when I'm uh, running on the treadmill, I'll be thinking about how lucky I am to be on this treadmill. And I know a lot of people say, well, it sucks to run on a treadmill. Yeah, it does. But the fact that I have a treadmill, the fact that I have the time to run on a treadmill, the fact that I have electricity in my house, all that stuff is good enough to where I can say I am grateful to, to be on there. And that's how you can keep a positive attitude and keep things moving forward. And a lot of times when you think about the things that you are grateful for, I'm grateful for my kids. I'm grateful for you know this podcast. I'm grateful for the listeners that I have. I'm grateful the fact that I have an iPhone. You know, all those little things that may sound crazy. You know, if I didn't have those things, I'd be set back a little bit. I'm grateful today that I haven't dropped and broken my iPhone. <laughs> you know, little things like that you can say that are that are just extra gratitude that helps you keep that positive attitude and keep you moving forward. So if you think about that stuff, that'll help you deal with the disappointment and deal with the frustrations that are going through your life. So with all that being said, I just want to tell you guys to be grateful for all that you you have, all that you're you're building to, and all that you will become in the future. Part of this podcast is to help you guys grow as leaders. And uh, as selfish intent, I want that for my kids if they go into technology or wherever they go. I want them to have good leadership around them. And I want to be a good leader too and a good role model. So hopefully this episode will help you guys set your expectations in a proper way to improve you know, the way you look at your your life, your outlook, your perspective, and help you deal with that frustrations. And understand that when you set proper expectations and think about all the things that you have in this life and how grateful you really are, um, you know, to be living where we are and how we are in, in this day and time, um, you know, there's really nothing nothing better. And hopefully that will improve your, your uh, quality of life, reduce your disappointment, and make you a happier individual. And when you're a happier individual, people around you get happier. And just, just like a, a chain reaction of effect that goes on out there. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. It's, it's one of my rare solo shows these days. And uh, hopefully you got something out of it. And if so, please share it with your friends and leave me a rating and review in iTunes. And that would be greatly appreciated. Again, thanks so much. Wow.